10 shocking Craigslist murders. The male escort murder. In 2011, Billy Joe DeLacy, an army vet who went through two war deployments, contacted a male escort named Luis Alberto Vasquez Oliva for man-on-man -man massage services through Craigslist. Days later, Oliva's body was found dead face up on a deflated air mattress. The U.S. Army veteran met with Oliva and somewhere during their evening ended up beating him to death. Radio murder. In 2009, John Kathis was convicted of killing George Weber, who was a well-known radio personality in New York City. The two met on Craigslist, and according to Kathis, Weber promised him $60 for rough sex, while email exchanges indicated there was a relationship. Apparently, things got a bit too rough, as Weber was found dead in his apartment, stabbed in the neck and back numerous times. Nanny 911. On October 25, 2007, 19-year-old Michael John Anderson was convicted of killing 24-year-old nanny Catherine Ann Olson in Minnesota. Olson was a seasoned nanny who posted her services on Craigslist, and Anderson answered, posing as a housewife named Amy. He arranged to have Olson meet at his parents' house. When Catherine arrived for work, he shot her in the back with a 357 Magnum and put her body into the trunk of her car. He then drove to Burnsville Nature Preserve, where he abandoned it. The car containing Olson's body was discovered on the next day. Robbery and murder. In 2011, Richard Beasley teamed up with a 16-year-old teenager in order to pull off a robbery attempt. Beasley was a street preacher and had a criminal history related to burglary. He used Craigslist to lure four men for an interview for a job on a farm in Ohio. While the men thought they were on the brink of getting employment, Beasley's real intention was to rob and murder them. He killed three men and wounded one by shooting them as they arrived on the farm death by a salesman. In 2007, two men by the name of George Carter and Kendrick Demas posted an ad to sell a 1995 Chevrolet Caprice. 21-year-old Christian Martin answered the ad and met the two men at a fast food parking lot with his girlfriend. After the business deal was done, Martin went home to his apartment to get $2,000 to pay for the car. Carter and Demas followed him home, went up to him while he was still in his car, and shot him. Martin's girlfriend was uninjured, but Martin didn't survive. Desperate for a baby. In 2009, Karina Roberts lured 21-year-old Heather Snively to her Oregon home with the promise of baby clothes she put up for sale on Craigslist. Once there, Roberts killed Snively and cut the unborn child out of her womb and then took the baby to the hospital, claiming it was her own baby and that she had had a miscarriage. Six years later, in 2015, almost the exact same crime took place in Colorado. Dinell Lane was arrested for attacking 26-year-old Michelle Wilkins, who was seven months pregnant. Lane was able to lure Wilkins to her home after she answered a Craigslist ad for baby clothes. Then Lane stabbed Wilkins and took her baby. Wilkins survived the attack, but her baby did not. Dial M for murder. In 2011, 19-year-old Jonathan Clements posted an ad on Craigslist seeking to buy a new cell phone. Alexander Lyons answered the ad, claiming that he had an Android to sell for $95. They agreed to meet at a gas station in a busy and well-lit area. However, minutes before the meeting, Lyons called Clements and tricked him into meeting at Clements' aunt's home instead. When they met, Lyons shot him and stole $100 from Clements, who later died in the hospital. The original Craigslist killer. In 2009, Philip Markoff is one of the most infamous Craigslist killers as he targeted women who advertised massage services on Craigslist with the intent of robbing and attacking them. He had several victims who survived his attacks, however, one of his robberies at a hotel resulted in the death of Julissa Brisman. Markoff's story inspired a lifetime movie, The Craigslist Killer. He ended up committing suicide in jail in 2010 because he was unable to handle the pressure of his newfound fame. Mustang and Murder. 28-year-old Robert J. Towns was convicted of killing 69-year-old Elray Bud Runyon and his 66-year-old wife, June. Runyon answered Towns' ad for a 1966 Mustang for sale. He then drove several hours with his wife to meet Towns. Days later, they were found dead, both shot in the head after reported missing by their daughters. Police found that there was no evidence that Town even owned the car the Runyons were seeking to buy. Marriage and Murder a married couple by the name of Alette and Miranda Barbour was sentenced to life in prison for the brutal murder of Troy LaFerrera in Pennsylvania. LaFerrera had answered a Craigslist ad for Miranda that offered female companionship. Miranda picked him up at the parking lot of Susquehanna Valley Mall and asked LaFerrera to get in her car while Alette was hiding under a blanket on the back seat. Once LaFerrera got in the car, Alette strangled him while Miranda stabbed him six times and then dumped the body into a lake. The killing allegedly was a thrill killing, timed for the couple's three-week wedding anniversary.